Hey everybody, it's Emily Jones in my kitchen and pleased to be joined by two of my favorite people, Elvis and Corey Andrews. When Elvis comes to the clubhouse almost on a daily basis, he's always got like food and I'm always like, what is it? What is, what, what is it? And every time almost it's arepas, arepas. It's my favorite, arepas. And so when we had this idea to do like a little bit of a, you know, a cooking class, I thought who better to do it than Corey, who is actually a chef. And you guys can teach me how to make an authentic Venezuelan dish called arepas. So, Corey, yes. take it away. Well, the first thing we gotta do, okay, clean our first, hands, right? We have to wash our hands because everything that we do is mainly with our hands. Second of all, we're gonna do a little medium, small bowl to do the mix. And then we're also going to need the harina pan. This is the one that I use. Now you can use any any corn flour, but this one... It's like you know, Venezuelan. Yeah, right? that's a Venezuelan. Uh, okay, so we're going to do one cup of the harina pan. How much salt? Okay, and it will be half of a teaspoon. So, so far we've just got the cornmeal and the salt. And the salt, that's it, okay? Then after that, we're gonna do, we're gonna get some water. In my house, I grew up, my mom did it, my grandma did it, my mother-in-law does it with cold water. It cannot be hot or warm, it has to be cold, okay? And you're gonna do one and a half cup. So one cup and then a half a cup. So this is the challenging part. You don't want the dough to have any little balls, okay? So do I whisk it? No. So usually we do our hands, that's why you wash your hands, okay? And you're gonna do one hand to hold the bowl and then the other one to... Get the mix together. To mix it, okay. So this is how you're gonna do. Okay, you're gonna mix it. It looks like a malto meal. It's smooth, okay? Okay. Is it smooth? Let me see it. Good job. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, okay. So, so you're gonna let it rest for at least five to seven minutes. So um, for the other, for the feelings, Emily, we do absolutely everything. We do cheese, ham, eggs. So that those are the three tops that we ch chose for today, just because it's more simple and it's easier. Okay, so I chose ham and gouda cheese. We're gonna shred the cheese. We already got it shredded right here. We got some. Ham Ham, and then we already have some eggs made right here. There's something that you could not live without, is butter. Butter is the key ingredient to an arepa. <laughs> in arepa, we know butter. It's not an arepa. So while the dough is still doing or setting, we're gonna do some oil, and I do the little spraying oil. So what you do is you grab the, the napkin, and kind of like spread it out, and spread it out. all over the, the pan so it's even. Yeah. Okay, so the dough should be pretty good. This is like the perfect texture. Yeah. So now see how you grab it and it doesn't like stick to your hands like it used to, right? Right. Right. So you're gonna get a little ball the size of your hand. My hand's a little smaller, obviously. Okay. So after you do the little ball, you're gonna start netting with your palm. Okay. Like it's play -Doh. Slow, slow, gentle, gentle, okay? Gentle, <laughs> gentle, gentle until it's like this. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin. So that's too thin. Too thin? Yeah, that's thin, yeah. So you want it a little thick so you can open it when it's ready. See? Okay. okay when you're pro, you do it like me. No. Okay, okay so you want it. After you have the shape, you want to kind of shape it on the side so it's round. it's round and nice and perfectly a circle. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. <laughs> so imagine it's a baseball, right? Okay. Same thing as a baseball. And then when it's all like, you know, like uniform and there's no like, you know, like holes cracks. Yeah, or cracks. And then from there you start just... It's like if you're throwing a baseball, you know, one hand to another hand. Okay, I've got my griddle. So this is my griddle built into my stove. Yes. Okay, so first we're gonna do medium, between medium and high heat on the stove. 
okay? I want to show you something really quick. This is what I use to make them every morning and every night. I, I actually do make them every morning and every night, by the way. Ah, you're so spoiled, Elvis. Way too spoiled. Uh, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is how you're going to throw it. So you put it like in your fingers. Okay. Something that I learned from my mother, that was a small. She taught me to just cover the pan and then the heat will cook the arepa evenly. Yeah. So, so how long, if you don't cover it, how long do you cook it? Usually you wait like 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe so, little, I, don't, I don't know. My, maybe, mine's always burned, so. Maybe a little less, <laughs> just depending on how your fire is. So now we're gonna go to the next step after that everybody's ready. So you're gonna hold it, you see it? Mm -hmm. With the napkin so you don't burn yourself, okay? And then you're gonna start from the top, middle top, okay? Okay. okay. And then you're gonna go in and then all the way like that, you see? And then I usually don't open it all the way. I do it halfway and then I just open it in the middle. Yes! Oh, she's a fast learner. Okay, and then you add a little bit of butter. Just a little, not too much, you know, just... She's a little tasty. Yeah. And then you're gonna close it so both sides get butter. You get me? Yeah. Yeah, so now you get to choose, you know, to grab whatever comes in there, but... So that's why we made the eggs. So for me, I'm doing the, che the cheese. Uh, cheese first so it gets melted and you're gonna do the ham or turkey or whatever okay. and then that's when you're gonna use the eggs so now there is part which is closing the door you okay. close the door okay. right so it looks like a burger and voila ready to okay. be. Let me try it. so you got it ready it wow that looks really good oh, let, let me see, see let me see let me see Woo, girl! Okay, now okay. you try it. Okay, now I get to eat it. I'm so excited. Mira, la yaya, la yaya dice de carota con queso, pero a Elvi no le gusta eso. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, you. I can't believe I made it. That's really good. You, you were really good. For the oh first gosh, time, that was so really good. good. So this is why we eat them any time of the day. You can eat them in the morning with eggs, or you can eat them at night with steak or chicken or whatever you have. You're really, it's really good. <laughs> um, okay, well, that this was so fun. Thank you guys so much for doing this. Of course. Thank I you really for... do feel like I, I learned a new trick today. I'm really yeah, excited. That was easy. It was not that hard. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, you inspired me. I'm going to try to cook Yay. out of for my kids tomorrow we'll, for breakfast. We'll do this again soon. Okay. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Yeah. Bye. Love you. Love you guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, Emily. Take care.